Aiden has uh, started driving this four-wheeler and uh, we fed him up here to bring the water up at the top. Hey, turn, turn it long ways, Aiden. Watch your wire. Turn, turn it long, there you go. Maybe push it in a little bit into their, their, there you, can you push it or no? They, I'll get it when I get up there. Good job. Anyways, he's, uh, he started driving this Honda four-wheeler and, well, mainly I had him start doing that because my battery on mine is going down sometimes and kind of needing a way back and he's doing the hybrid school thing so it's been great to have him and he's gonna be eight on Saturday um, oh, I think you lost the bungee but you check it when you get over there anyways he's been a big help he's doing good things he went down there and got the water and water trough and Strap bungee did it on the four wheeler and he's feeling he's feeling good. But anyways, these are our breeders uh, for our Berkshires and uh, they got pans down there that we usually feed them in. I don't like to just dump it on the ground, but we did today and it's gonna be fine. Um, but these two right here are gonna have babies towards the end of this month, early October. Um, so we're gonna do our first winter. Well, we'll have a spring batch essentially ready for the processor of the Berkshire pig. So you can see she's uh, she's getting plump and then uh, she'll start really hanging low um, when she starts really filling up with milk in there. But they're plenty big. Um, these shelters they've pigged out here before um, i may take them up to that open air barn again uh, just because i don't know what the weather is going to be when they have their babies but it'll still they'll be out yes aiden oh yeah i'll hold it for you here i got it hey, that's a good job aiden i'll hold the camera for you well i can i can drag it that's good. You want to put a little more in it since we got it? Because we got to get some more water anyways for the little ones. Just turn it on. You don't even have to put the hose on. Turn it on all the way. All the way. There you go. You don't want to shock me. It's on the water. That's all right. It's going in the... It's going in this trough right now. But it would be extra. Now it would be extra hot. <clears throat> but we've, uh, again, this is the same type thing. You know, where our pig paddocks are, we need to take away the bad and keep the good. And right now we're just still in the process of letting the pigs do the clearing. They're going to clear what they can and then we'll come in and do the rest. Um, really need a wood chipper. If I can get a wood chipper to chip the tops, get rid of the junk trees. You know, this is a little maple. It's awful close to this hickory. Um, you know, this maple could be cut away, cut in the firewood. The top's chipped up. You know, this is a downed uh, oak branch. So, you know, it's just a constant, you know, pick up, clean up but starting to get these paddocks ready. You know, the past two and a half years trying to figure out where to move them, where to make paddocks. You know, I've hacked down just with a machete, really, a bunch of branches, small trees, but if we can open this up and again, create more of a silvo pasture to get that grass going, run our breeders through here, run our pigs through here, that'll go to the processor for uh, you know, everybody's consumption to purchase. You know, we'll be, we're, it, it, it's getting there. We got more paddocks over on the other side of the creek. And when you see we got a fence here, where again, we're not, 
we really limit the time that any animals are in a tributary or creek or pond or any kind of water source and uh if we can keep them out of there is best uh, because you know do unto those downstream as you would do have those upstream do to you and you just don't want pigs in there i mean pigs they make a mess they're they're pigs they'll root up they'll break the bank away and cows will do the same to a pond bank to a creek bank and <clears throat> you know i don't want to take from the commons as you know joel salanton says you know digging a well is taken from the commons the you know the water from down below if i can hold the water on my property the runoff the surface water and be able to contain it and i got some ideas on how to do that then i'm not taking from the commons i'm just taking what's excess you know we used to have you know millions of beavers that built little ponds everywhere well we trapped all the beavers and now we got you know everybody puts tile in, in their fields and you know they're trying to get rid of the water you know to get it off their property well why in the world would you want to get water off your property we got to create ways to keep it on our property but also look for ways not to take away from the commons you know which would be obviously piped water from your you know water supplier that's you know running into your house uh you know digging a well is taken away from the commons you know it's taking that groundwater which we're limiting you know pigs have dug here and this continues to fill back up um so there's i don't know if we're getting surface runoff from this hillside it's kind of feeding that or, or what but we're working on ways to pipe water from ponds which we need worked on um, we're looking for ways to you know get our water to the animals in a gravity fed situation but you can see they're about ready to get out of here. Um, they've pretty much worked this area up. But you know, it's amazing what one little hot wire can do to a trained pig and keep them in and happy. So these two mamas will get separated from bacon. That's our boar bacon. And uh, he's a big old dude. And then they'll have, you know, time to prep make a nest get ready have their babies be mommies so i think that's it until next time this is adam ferris with kicking grass farm aiden you want to say bye to everybody and bye. ask him to um, ask him to uh maybe like the video and subscribe like the video and subscribe if you want to and click that like button and ring that bell <laughs> Bye. That's right. Thank you all.